Okay, hey everyone, Kevin from my Philippine American Adventure. Today is, what's the date today? Huh? 13th of February, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Uh, day three of the house build. We worked on our third day today. So yesterday they got this part done. They had to dig it a little deeper. And then today, today they did the other side over here. But they're going to have to redo some of that because it's not straight. It kind of curves in. So they're going to have to fix that tomorrow. And then divided it in half. Put this in here. Got Of course, I got to cut out this guava tree here. There's a neighbor's chicken. That guava, These guava trees got to go. Those guava trees got to go. All these trees are going to stay. We're just going to kind of tie them off that way so they go away from the house. So they got that. This one, they're not quite digging the middle yet. And this one. Just started on this one. Like I say, the septic tank will be going back here. I thought they were supposed to start on that today, but I guess soon they'll start doing that. But right now, no. So they're going to be doing the septic tank back in here. Got our five, number five hollow blocks today. Our number five hollow blocks came this morning for the foundation to go in the bottom of the trenches here. So the number fives, these are four. And these are the number five. Got 300 of these to go into the bottom. Made much better. None of these broke on delivery. So actually the five are better. I wish we would have went with the all, all five for the whole house now. They are 19 pesos a piece compared to the four, number four which is 13 so there's six pesos more each block but to me i think they're made better i think it would have been worth the extra six pesos per block to just go with number five but too late now we still have two thousand of these coming yet we got 2500 of them coming and this is 720 so roughly eight, 1800 more we got to get of these and another truckload or two of the rocks in the sand. Uh, the rebar came today. The sand, or sand, all oh, the cement's over here. We had to close that up because it rained the other day. But all the rebar is here. I want to show you some stuff they're doing down here at the other end. But... On the way down there, I'll talk to you about something that happened the other day. Uh, I was shopping at Nepo Mart, and I was on the back road between uh, Nepo Mart and Suki Market. And come out of Nepo down at the wet market, and there's this people screaming, and I'm like, what are they screaming at? And I look, and there's a car rolling away with the owner chasing after it. He forgot to put it into park. So he's chasing this car forward. And it's an SUV, actually. He was chasing the car forward. And finally got the door open. Jumped in and stopped it, but not until it ran into some tricycles and some people. Nobody was hurt bad but there were a few light injuries but nobody was hurt that bad um not to say anything against drivers here in the philippines but a lot of them cannot drive cars i'm i'm not saying that to be rude or anything but it's just a fact that 
I, I see it every day. People don't know how to back their cars up. They don't know how to make U-turns in the road or in a driveway. They don't know how to utilize what they got with, with the big vehicle. It's really scary. And they don't get out of the way for you either. So anyway, down here they're making all the rebar. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with all these. They, they put them down inside those bigger holes in the corners for the basic frame on the bottom. They got a lot of those double candy cane type things. And we got more of them over here. And then as I go up higher up on the um, rebar off the ground, the, the higher up, they, they have little square ones that he'll be making then. So he'll make squares out of other ones. But he's got those all cut. And they'll be um, doing the rebar things in the the trenches here pretty soon so anyway that's just a little update again I, I didn't mean to say anything bad about Filipino drivers but they're making it so easy for the Filipinos to get cars now with uh, financing so everybody's financing these new cars and they do not know how to drive them and there's thousands of them on the road and it's actually scary sometimes to watch how they drive their vehicles. Anyway, I'll let you go. Sorry to rant. We will talk to y'all real soon. Take care, guys. Bye.